I'm a divine child of the great mother, father, God. A divine child of the great mother, father, God. I'm a divine child of the great mother, father, God. A divine child of the great mother, father, God. Hello. Back with your moon sign readings. Just for a... Um, refresher so that you know you know what's going on is basically this is from the great mother speaks oracle deck and this deck is specifically designed to help heal mama drama trauma mama drama trauma is a planetary disorder it's a condition in which the mother projects unhealed aspects of herself onto her child causing emotional and or physical trauma in cases where she is so committed to her dysfunction or as a great mother likes to say is unwilling, unable or unavailable to heal her own MDT because it is a cycle. Loving detachment is required. So loving detachment is accepting what is, you know, she's sick. She is unable to love you in the way that you need to be loved and support you in the way that you need to be supported. You establish those boundaries the way you need to based on your particular situation. But loving detachment is a practice. It's a practice of accepting what is, that the condition is what it is in your life and it is manifesting what it is and accepting that with a gratitude, accepting that with an appreciation for the fact that you are being able to learn more about yourself and to grow through your moon sign, which is basically your soul sign. You know, the sun sign is the physical personality, basically. It's what we do. The sun is what we do. It's great father energy, the law, the logos, the word. Great mother is the Holy Spirit. Great mother is the vortex, is the void. And so it's our emotion. It's what we don't see. Okay, it's our soul. It's our intuitive space. And so we talk about emotion in terms of the moon sign, your reactions, your thoughts, your feelings, but also in terms of your intuition, which is different. And that is your Vedic moon sign, which is traditionally a sign in progression to your moon sign. So if your moon sign is Taurus, well, then your um, Vedic moon sign is going to be Aries. It's 24 degrees, and so it is possible with signs being 30 degrees that your Vedic moon sign is Aries as well. So you want to check the links below because you might be Aries, Aries. So these readings are based on um, your Western moon sign, but are going to give you some intuitive insights from your general, what would be a sign before, your Vedic moon sign. So we're looking at the house of... Libra and the house of Libra is traditionally the seventh house in astrology and so of course in the Vedic that is going to be Virgo traditionally the sixth house so um, most of you Libra moon sign people are going to have a Vedic Virgo moon sign and so that means that you're going to be feeling intuitively a lot of sixth house energy and so we're going to talk about that in your reading for this new moon now your new moon readings are for you to really get a sense of who you want to be this moon cycle with your loving detachment what is it that you need to accept in your life as it is and appreciate as it is right here and right now because healing is the end of conflict. More specifically, it's the end of internal conflict. So we are experiencing a lot of external conflict in the world. We see it everywhere. And that is because we are all battling ourselves internally. That's how we know it's a planetary disorder. Everybody has some form of not feeling loved, not feeling nurtured and cared for. And so we're projecting this need onto others by what I call demand love okay it's, it's just demanding to be loved the way you want to be when you want to be how you want to be loving detachment is releasing that it's asserting yes i need love but let me detach from my structure from my limitations from my perceived notions of how that love needs to be manifested or shown to me western moon sign is emotional because it is your moon sign, but more specifically, we just focus on emotion and not intuition with the Western moon sign because the Western moon is earth centric. So it's based on you this lifetime. OK, and how you're feeling in this moment. New moon wishes are based on how you're feeling in this moment. 
How are you feeling in this moment in relation to where you want to feel 28, 29 days from now? That's what your new moons are generally based on. And then more specifically, new moon wishes are made with the Western moon sign because they're based on how you feel. And so how are you feeling about Libra related issues? How are you feeling about your relationships with others? Okay, how is the relationship with yourself manifesting in those relationships personally and professionally? And what needs to be tweaked? Well, I want to have more productive relationships with people in my workplace. And in order for me to do that, I need to be, I want to feel, be more considerate toward those that I work with. It's a good example of a Libra new moon wish. And so this reading is going to give all signs um, a perspective on exactly how to do those new moon wishes, looking at your emotions. But then also because each card does have a chakra, it's going to specifically look at the chakra of your general Vedic moon sign in relationship to what Great Mother is sharing with you that is coming through intuitive through that Holy Spirit space and guiding you toward your direction over the next 28 days. So enjoy your reading. Thanks for watching. Hi Capricorn Aquarius Moon Sign people. Welcome to your Libra New Moon reading. Now this is ninth house energy for you. And so this is very much about your higher wisdom, your teachers, your gurus, from an emotional sense, how you're connecting to that. Maybe you've gone back to school School. Maybe you're getting a degree. Maybe someone you know is getting a degree and you're helping them study. Maybe you have um, evolved in your own internal consciousness because of course we're talking about that with our moon sign and your Vedic moon sign is Capricorn ruled by Saturn. That's important because we have the lunar phases in the Great Mother Speak symbolism as well as the chakras. And so the chakra for Saturn is the root chakra. Saturn rules the root chakra. And so that is that intuitive knowing that you have. So you probably have throughout your life noticed a tendency to intuit through smell, um, uh, sense things through, um, you know, the a process of elimination, so to speak, when you're getting rid of things in your life, you have these aha moments. And even perhaps when you are eliminating physical Physically through your digestive uh, system that might be a time uh, when you get insights because you are uh, governed by the root chakra in terms of your sidereal uh, Capricorn sign so we're looking at the root chakra as well as for you during this particular time your moon phase the Aquarius moon phase is in the waxing gibbous moon phase so let's look here how you're approaching this new moon is with full moon energy and so this full expression of heart chakra energy which is the crossroads between the ego and the soul is sueless and so there's definitely an energy of wellness as well as for some of you a need that you have at this particular time that you may be requesting outside of yourself that really you have the resources and the means within to fulfill. As we look at this reading, our goal is to see, of course, how the way that you're approaching this new moon with this sense of wellness or with the sense that someone needs to bring that to you, you determine which of that it is. As you are approaching this new moon, what your new moon wish should be in order to bring you in more closer alignment with your soul. This is about ego soul alignment, that emotional intuitive alignment and what to look out for over the next 28, 29 days to make that happen, to assist that process, to surrender in fact to that process. The transformative opportunity to do that is Gildeptus, knowing that things are coming together for you. So again, you're approaching this new moon with this bright energy of purification with regard to seeking wellness outside of yourself, seeking perhaps health care, seeking perhaps emotional wellness, feeling good uh, within yourself. And 
again some of you need to know that you already have the resources within you to fulfill that and so the transformative opportunity is to realize that to realize that you have it within you and you definitely have the intuitive power we know that you have the intuitive power because you're approaching it with heart chakra energy. The heart chakra, again, your sidereal, we're looking at the chakras, is ruled by Venus. Venus went retrograde October 5th in Scorpio in the Western and Libra in the Vedic. That is 10th house energy for you. So maybe with regard to work, maybe you're looking for more secure work. Maybe you've been doing a part-time job somewhere and you're wanting to make it full-time. Maybe you've been doing a job that is kind of shaky and you want something a little more solid. Maybe you're transitioning from owning your own business business which can be tremendously challenging to getting back out in the corporate world or vice versa whatever is going to bring that inner space into balance for you great mother wants you to know that from now until the full moon actually because we have the full moon with your transformative opportunity as well with the third eye of great mother it's coming together for you and it's coming together for you quite quickly now the third eye is ruled by the moon great mother moon and so we pay attention to that energy that rules cancer. Uh, cancer for you, um, of course, is going to be more of that, um, you know, sixth house energy, you know, that daily life, maybe your work again. And so maybe we are looking at your work. Daily life also includes your health. And so it could be your physical wellness. And so we're kind of in those categories with you this lunar cycle. Don't overlook the fact that there's some real transformative opportunity that has already occurred for, for some of you who have come to the realization that the wellness is within yourself, that that new job is within yourself, you have the direction. And for some of you, there's a rebirth into that acknowledgement. This is a waxing gibbous moon card, which has to do with revision, revising. So you're revising, you're coming to a greater clarity about how to transition into that space space of knowing, how to transition into that space of acknowledging that things are coming together for you. It's about this energy that says that I can reground myself based on what I know, I know, I know. In the center of your spread is integrity. The truth is what you are telling yourself or what you need to tell yourself in order to come to this realization fully. Now it's either by this full moon, which will be in Taurus, or the next full moon that will be in Gemini. Because we have this fifth chakra that uh, is ruled by Mercury that rules Gemini about what not to overlook. So if you continue to overlook the fact that you're going through a rebirth process, it may take two moons. Integrity in the center of your spread is ruled by the heart chakra again. So this heart in energy, this Venusian energy, Venus went retrograde in your 10th house. So what does that mean for you? It means that this emphasis with regard to your work and your professional life needs to be a priority. It needs to be something that you are reflecting on now and that you are, um, it either needs to be that or it is that for you right now. And so either you need to tell yourself the truth about where you are and where you want to be or you are embarking upon that process in order for things to be well within yourself. In your shadow position is the Jesus card for you, Capricorn, Aquarius, Moon sign people. And so you don't know, you're not aware that things are coming together because you have the soul guidance and guardianship to make it so. Just tap into it, ask for it, it's right there for you. You're gonna pick it up very strongly, very intuitively with that Saturn there. Remember. Saturn is the planetary, the cosmic school teacher, rather. It is that grandfather clock that makes sure the soul is on target to doing what it's supposed to do this lifetime. And of course, with Mama Drama Trauma, if you are watching this channel, you're one of my clients, you're working with this yourself, you're doing your healing work, you're using the deck as a supplemental healing device, whatever has brought you here, you already know that this lifetime is for you to heal Mama Drama Trauma, which means that that you are evolving in self-love and spiritual independence.
You're dancing with illusion here. And the illusion that things are not well is the counterpart of this full moon in which that realization will and can come to you this moon or next. You're dancing with this, this new moon in Virgo Libra. So she's really emphasizing to you that that internal wisdom is available for you now with this ninth house energy for you. Ninth house wisdom, that higher wisdom again that you're really, really tapping into or that you have access to and don't realize that that crossroads is right there for you to stand upon and move forward from. What needs to be released is this feeling that your soulmate does not love you. Remember in Mama Drama Trauma, we learn that our mother is a soul that loves us beyond understanding. It requires a soul for this particular soul contract and incarnation. It requires a soul that loves us enough to insist that we evolve in self-love and spiritual independence. And how do we evolve in this realm in self-love but through dejection and rejection? How do you learn to love yourself but by not having it? It's something that is required. It's something that we are as divine beings love. And so not to experience that in our outer expression is misery. And so to assuage that, we must learn to give it to ourselves. It requires a soul that will insist upon supporting us in that journey. In the let go position is the birth mother card. So what I'm seeing here is that the truth is above it. And so the truth that needs to be let go of uh, the truth, rather, is going to help you let go of any notion that there is anything other than love functioning in your relationship with your mother, regardless of how it appears. Because the balsamic moon cards are all letters of the acronym ASPIRE and we aspire to live in loving detachment. We aspire to live day to day, moment by moment, accepting what is with love. And with I, heart chakra energy, that crossroads again, you're standing at a crossroads, I feel, this new moon. And you're really wanting to get clarity. Great Mother's giving you that clarity. Integrity, the I, is the scene in The Wizard of Oz when Dorothy points to Professor Marvel and she says you were there too and so even though he played one character in the physical world in her internal spiritual journey she was he was the great father he played another role so even though the mother is manifesting in the physical world as a villain the wicked witch in the spiritual world and we feel it we know it that's where the guilt shame and blame comes from we feel the love but in this physical world it gets all mushed up and crazy right in order to have this purification process occur for evolution all kinds of crazy stuff has to happen right but in the spiritual world it never changes the truth never changes. And so that's the truth that needs to be told to yourself in order to release the perception that the birth mother is not available, does not love you, does not have time for you and your needs. Root chakra card for you. This is over emphasis again for your root chakra, your soul sidereal sign ruled by Saturn, the, Aqua the uh, Capricorn energy to ground yourself in the world. Stand on your own two feet in your knowledge and knowing you are a divine, dearly loved child of the great mother, father, God, who's never judged, condemned or left alone. Now, what's going to support you? What energies are available to support you in sustaining this belief? Well, Great Mother is offering you Sheila Nagig. She is the waning gibbous moon energy of giving and receiving, sharing and thanksgiving, openness of the heart. So all of this heart energy, you're open and you're ready for it. And she's saying that is what's going to facilitate the release of the notion that abandonment and abuse is the 
only definition of your mother. Some of us may be in denial. So again, it's a yin yang. Some of you know that you're well and you're working toward that at work and in your relationship, some of you don't quite know yet. Some of you are in a position where there is a lot of LTBS, low tolerance for bullshit, very angry, very upset, very mad at your mother. And some of you are in a place where you're in denial. You're not allowing yourself to acknowledge the anger and the rage that you have against your mother. Regardless, this this birth mother card, this crescent moon card, and um, your moon right now is a first quarter moon. So if you Google Capricorn, where's Capricorn, um, you know, right now, where's the moon at? When, when is the moon phase this month for Capricorn? It's its first quarter moon this month as the moon moves through the constellations. Right now it's in Libra, but when it comes up on Capricorn and Aquarius, it's going to be first quarter moon. And first quarter moon is the energy of taking the decision to act on facing a challenge. You, you're acting on a challenge. And so this can be very challenging for some of you. And so she's saying consciously bring that to your conscious awareness. If you have MDT, you are mad because that's natural that you don't have your mother and the sooner you acknowledge it the sooner you can work with purifying that out of your system through loving detachment that's what my coaching work is I support people in living in loving detachment we have free Sunday and Monday night meetings at 8 o'clock at greatmotherspeaks.info where we learn how to dialogue with our mother we learn how to establish healthy boundaries and to live in loving detachment in a manageable way for us now this openness that facilitates you doing that is Sheila Nagig energy this is when the lion jumps out of the castle window when Oz tells him what must be done in order for him to get courage. And in fact, he's scared, but he goes ahead. And isn't that the very definition of courage? So the courage that you have now to deal with whatever suppressed anger there may be, rage, the courage that you have right now is enough to acknowledge that things are coming together if you don't realize that they are. And the courage that you have right now is enough to rebirth you into a state of knowing that wellness is your birthright, being happy, healthy, and whole. It's enough right now. It's enough right now. In your shadow position is Jesus, which is why I know that you probably don't know that. It's in your shadow that you have soul guidance and guardianship. So the root chakra is constantly wanting to reground itself. And so the soul is wanting to reground itself and align itself with the life lesson of mama drama trauma, which is self-love and spiritual independence. And you're dancing with the illusion that it's something else, that there's something else you need to do. There's something else you need to find out. You, you wanted to give your mother a pass and say that she's going to get better and this would, and although that may be true, you need to focus on you, especially now into the full moon. Okay. This is your new moon card is deal with the illusion. What illusions are you telling yourself that you do not deserve this now? You have what you need to experience it right now. Now, as you open up to this and go along your uh, journey to take your power back, which is the broom from the Wicked Witch, right? They had to go get the broom. Your new moon wish should support this. And your new moon wish, therefore, based on what we have here for your spread Capricorn Aquarius moon sign people, could probably align you with your soul most graciously with a wish that goes something like, I want to, great mother, easily and effortlessly accept my birthright to be happy, healthy, and whole regardless of the anger that I may still hold against others. We want to include everyone, not just the mother, because the mother is the foundation of all of our relationships. We replicate our role from our birth family and all of our relationships. 
okay, um, our friends, our marriages, until we become conscious and we make shifts. And this is what this lunar cycle is about for you. It's about opening yourself up to a new trajectory as we see him being ejecting himself out of the window. That's kind of what you are doing, but you have enough courage to mount that battle. One more time. New moon wish suggestion. Great mother, I want to easily and effortlessly accept that things are coming together for my wellness. You want to do that, but I think the wish was something like, Great Mother, I want to easily and effortlessly release. I want to easily and effortlessly accept my birthright to be happy, healthy, and whole and release my anger towards others. That's what it was. Great Mother, I want to easily and effortlessly accept my birthright to be happy, healthy, and whole and release my anger towards others. Those are actually two different wishes. Although they go together very smoothly, just separate them out so that they don't dilute each other. Okay, I learned that um, from Jan Spiller. Jan Spiller's uh, lunar books, astrology books are excellent. And that's how I learned how to do uh, new moon wishes, Jan Spiller. So um, those are two different wishes and I've tested that over the years and it's true. Uh, even though ideas go together really s smoothly, if they're two different ideas, is. They are two different wishes and we don't want to do more than 10 wishes. So you want to have your own wishes that you put together, but a total of 10, but those are two. I want to easily and effortlessly accept my birthright to be happy, healthy, and whole. Wish number two, I want to easily and effortlessly release my anger towards others. Those are both very good Libra new moon wishes related to commitments to oneself and to others. Your outcome is processing. You're going to be processing this for a while. And so that's why it's so important to embrace the support that is available to you. Embrace the truth and integrity of your birthright that you know, you know, you know, you have a right to be here. You have a right to be happy, healthy, and whole. You are a divine child, the great mother, father, God. You're going to be processing the fact that you have the power to live according to that for a while and so we see here with the balsamic moon again the I in Aspire and we have the P in Aspire uh, as your outcome card over the next 28 days realize that you're going to be processing all this and the full moon you're going to be seeing how things are coming together for you and so as you get into the processing phase after you see how things are coming together for you recalibrate and let's meet again here at the Scorpio new moon, right? It'll be Libra Scorpio new moon in about 28, 29 days from now. Thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking. But above all, and most of all, remember Great Mother loves you. And I do too. A child of the Great Mother, Father, God of God. A divine child of the Great Mother, Father, God. I'm a divine child of the Great Mother, Father, God. A divine child of the Great Mother, Father, God. I am Great Mother, the still small voice of the Holy Spirit and Divine Mother. Cosmic Moon.